Windows 2000, a masterpiece of an operating system back in its day. It released on the tail end of the millennium in December of 1999 to OEMs. This version of Windows is based on the NT kernel. However, this version of Windows still has a really big cult following. In fact, some people recommend it over Windows XP due, due to it being super lightweight and being rock solid in terms of stability. However, that didn't stop people from trying to make Windows 2000 lighter. Yep, you heard that right. There are light versions of Windows 2000, which actually seems kind of redundant now that I think about it. These light versions of Windows are modified to have a lot of the bloatware stripped out and to help it run much faster on slower machines. But today, we are looking at Windows 2000 Super Nano Lite. The ISO image for this version of Windows 2000 is only 50 megabytes. Join me on this quest to see how usable this version of Windows 2000 is. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, moment of truth. Will this work? This redundant Windows 2000 version? Yeah, it looks like it works. There we go. Yeah, Let me do standard PC. Yeah, look how quickly that just loaded everything. I mean, granted, part of that is because we are in a virtual machine. What do you mean you can't find a disk? Do you want other? Okay, I guess that's not gonna work either. I guess we're just gonna have to create another virtual machine. Yeah, look at that, it lied to me. What is this? Why is it recommending this? And yes, I sometimes have bad grammar. What, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> okay, thank good. Oh man, yes, continue. On partition space. We're gonna form, obviously NTFS because it's way superior than FAT32. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> what, that's quick. We're already, we're already rebooting, okay. I like how it's like boom, 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 boom. Go, 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 go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that is really quick. This is definitely, it's probably one of my more favorite versions of Windows, to be honest with you. Cause it's like, I mean, I love Windows XP too, but Windows 2000, it's basically like XP, but it's just a lot lighter and it's a little bit more stable. It's probably one of the first, if not the first Windows operating system I've ever used that, or at least, the first one I've used that I remember. Heck, I remember my dad's work computer because he would actually work from home. And, you know, he actually had Windows 2000. He had Office 2000. And I mean, it was just, it was really cool. I actually had to restart the virtual machine because it froze right as, <laughs> as it was finishing up. So again, we'll just call it farts. You see, and look how quickly it's installing everything. I mean, <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so we are in Windows 2000, so let's just hit OK. Yeah, look how quickly that, oh my god, that was like almost instant. That was literally like half, not even half a second. It was just boom. So I do want to install the VMware tools. Why is it telling me this, why is it giving me this error? Oh, maybe that's why, because it's not certain. Oh, you gotta have like service pack six in order to even, why is, nothing just wants to go my way. That's what the problem is. Nothing just wants to work the way I want it to work. All right, so I just used an ISO creator to put, you know, Windows 2000 service pack four onto a disk image. So this should, I will put the download link to the description, to the tool in the description. All right, so it has it has to restart in order to install Service Pack 4. What do you mean? What are you talking about? This is such bullshit, dude. Oh my God, why is this being just so unstable now all of a sudden? I don't know what's going on. All right, so after a lot of tinkering and trial and error, here's Windows 2000, Super Nano Lite Edition. So yeah, as... At first glance, you can tell, yeah, it doesn't look that much different, I guess, except for maybe this right here. Because these are where all the, some of the programs are supposed to go by default. But yeah, no, we can, as you can see here, we got Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 installed. 
because I had to install Service Pack 4. It was just because of these VMware tools. It's just, it is so, <laughs> it was so frustrating, but hey, at least I got that done. And as you can see here, we barely have any programs here, period. <laughs> and look at this, for entertainment, all we have is volume control. And even that doesn't work. So, yeah, there's, there's nothing here. Let's go to Task Manager, see. 54 megabytes of memory. Oh, man. That is so good. Anything, yeah, anything in the sounds at all? Let's see. Nope, there's nothing. All the sounds have been cleared out. I'm guessing the wallpaper. Yep, all done. All gone. Screensaver. Nope. Nothing. Just, just blank. As you could tell. <laughs> yeah. Now this is act. This is actually Office 2000 Premium, which this is like the best version of Office 2000 you could get. I actually have a. Phys I actually have two physical copies of it. One is just the jewel cases, and the other is the actual completed box. But anyway, yeah. Let's just install everything. And yeah, I was like, you know what, why, why not install this just to add to the Windows 2000 experience? What do you mean? Why did this fail? What is going on here? At least Outlook here seems to be working fine. No email. Ignore, ignore. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Did it not install? Okay, at least Word works. Word seems to be working okay. And cause, you know, someone liked that part of that video with that PowerPoint. So we are going to see, let's see if there's anything like that here. Oh, I like, I like that factory one. That's actually kind of cool. Ooh, I like the lock and key. I like that, that marble. That's actually really cool. Ooh, I love the ribbons. Yeah, look, look at our PowerPoint. Let's, let's do, Let's call this PowerPoint, um, cheeseburger. I, I, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what these burgers are yummy. Let's, let's preview our presentation. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Excel, you know, it's Excel. <laughs> we got front page too. Ooh, nice. So you can create your own website. So, <laughs> yeah, you can just make your own website if you want to. You got hyperlinks. I know I'm kind of going too fast here, but I'm just doing this to show you guys, you know, hey, let's just make this more lively, because why not? Let's go on the internet. This is Kmelian for Windows 2000. Now this is at least the latest version I could find, but I mean, hopefully this will allow us to not only go on the internet, but actually hopefully give us a kind of a decent experience. Considering the browser is still kind of new enough, maybe. I love that wallpaper, that's actually really cool. Can we go on Google? No, why not? Oh man, this is just... <laughs> wow, I don't think there's even internet. Oh wait, no, here's network connections. We're gonna make that automatic. I'm just imagining now this version of Windows 2000 is so light. They literally got rid of some network thing that, you know, that actually allows the internet on here to work. But I guess that's not going to happen because, yeah, as you can see, it just doesn't work. So unfortunately, internet's out of the question, at least on this. I guess I'll just try a game. We're going to try Revenge of Arcade. As you can tell, it is so light that, yeah, you, there's not even sound in this. So, yeah, no, we're just gonna install this. Eh, whatever. I guess we could just play mit. Okay, maybe not, because it needs sound. <laughs> First of all, if we can even install this thing. <laughs> okay, where's the installer? Where is it? Where is the installer? can't even install some of these games. You know what, how about something as basic as Lose Your Marbles? If this doesn't work, I don't know. What? Uh, what, what is, uh, not a valid thing? What are you talking about, dude? Why are none of these games working? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, let's try SpongeBob Operation Krabby Patty. Why not? If we can at least get this to run. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous, dude. Installing this alone was just, oh man. Oh. Install, install the game. What is wrong with it? Okay, thank you. Oh my god. So let's try running this, please. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I can get a single game. Unless if it's like super basic, like 32 bit. All right, so you know what? I've been on here for a little while. Can we go on Google now at least? No, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry if I sound like I'm losing my mind, but literally just trying to do basic stuff, I can't even do it. Just cause again, cause this version of Windows 2000 is just so condensed down. You know, it's missing a lot of basic like DLLs and just functions in general. <laughs> That's probably why the internet isn't working because there's some, there's just some parts that are missing. My recommendation is just to not use this. I mean, unless if I'm just being stupid, yeah, I would not recommend using Windows 2000 Super Nano Lite. You are gonna run into a whole bunch of problems. Just stick with vanilla Windows 2000. That's pretty much light enough as it is and using something like this is just redundant anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this as much as i did i actually really did enjoy this it was just it was just a pain setting up so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this till next time peace